I am very angry and I need your help. And I'm going to be explaining what happened. So this whole cashless policy thing, I don't think Nigeria is actually ready for this thing right now, right? It's going to, it's, it's a great way to go. Trust me, people will start handling cash. Kidnappers will not, no longer be able to take money from you because that amount of cash that you actually give them is no longer available, you know, out there. So people are forced to actually do transfers. So every cash is basically traceable, you know, and um, well, for politicians to be able to buy votes because they don't have the cash to do all of these things and all of that. It's actually a very good policy if it actually gets to work. But right now, people are actually suffering. And, I got, and I've been affected just like every other person, right? So one of the things that is that the fact that there are no cash, I've resorted to using ATMs and uh, transfers and other methods of actually making payment. I'm good with that, right? I'm actually, I'm actually okay, we're okay with it. Until GT Bank started debiting me. I go to buy food, I put in my GT Bank card, and the next thing, I'm debited and there's no, uh, it says decline. I, I get the slip that says decline or transaction timed out or something, something, something right but i'm gonna get a debit a lot and there is never a reversal it has happened over 10 times there's never a reversal right so i go to gt bank uh website internet banking i actually logged this dispense error and um i waited for about two weeks right and today i said let me go to gt bank all the banks around here are closed so i drove all the way to um uh, vi to actually find a bank i got there and the crowd was mad right now, if you know GT Bank in, in VI, there's never crowd there. So I was surprised when I saw those crowds. Of course, I left. I don't like crowds for anything at all. I don't like staying there. So I left. And um, I called GT Bank. I said, I got, uh, I was debited um, at, in the hospital. I went to take, my, I went to take injection. And then they said I was going to pay 8,000 naira for that injection. So I paid with my card, the GT Bank card. And I got debited. But it, say, it says declined on the payment slip. So, of course, I did a transfer to them, right? Imagine if I didn't have another money to pay, right? So, I did a transfer to them, and um, I took the injection and went home. Now, as soon as I go home, I open my laptop and logged in that dispense error immediately like I always do. And guess what, guys? That was on the 7th of this month. Today is the 17th. Now, 10 days later, I have not heard from GT Bank at all. I called them today, and they told me that... Uh, they, when I logged it, that the merchant, the acquirer's bank, and the merchant uh, declined. They said that I actually got value for what I paid for. That wasn't declined, right? I said, so if I hadn't called you guys, nobody would have told me this. I would have been thinking that my money is coming. Does it even make sense? They said I should, I should upload, I share my email with the declined, the slip that says declined. I said, no problem. If you, this is the, situ the situation, why don't you provide a scenario? where I can actually upload this thing when I'm logging in this transaction. This doesn't make sense. So I'm going up and down, chasing you guys, calling you every I'll call you. It will take you two hours to pick my call, right? I'll go to your branch and the crowd is mad for 8,000 Naira. Now, I, I did that. I went back to the hospital. The hospital was not telling me that I have to go to my bank. I have to do this. I have to do that. It is crazy, right? Imagine somebody is dying in the hospital and you try to make payments with card and it didn't work. And it will take you like a month to actually get your money back if you actually get, you get that money back. This doesn't make sense, right? And this is the issue I have with the cashless policy. This doesn't happen anywhere in the world. As far back as 2016, I was in India. There was a day, this MGT bank card. I put it inside the, uh, um, um, an ATM machine in India. The ATM counted my money. I was afraid I was going to get a debit alert. And this is when I, I needed to pay for my exams. It's in Finnish counting. There was no debit. I, I checked my balance. My balance was intact. Nothing. I've been around quite a bit. I've been to different countries. There is never a country that I've been to that I put my card and I was debited. Not at all, and, and, and there was no value. It has never happened. Most countries use contactless. You just drop your card like this and it pays. Right? I use my GT Bank dollar card. It doesn't happen anywhere else in the world except right here in Nigeria. The other day I was traveling. I was driving to Anambra, I think. I got to Benin, I didn't have cash. I used a POS, the POS debited me. 5,100 Naira, 5,000 Naira plus 100 Naira charge. It debited me. I said, okay, um, but it debited me, but it, it, was showed, it showed decline or something. So I left, did transfer, collected the transfer and left. Came back to Lagos, went to my bank. This was Providence Bank, right? Went to Providence Bank, this was like ATM now. Went to Providence Bank and logged the, the complaint. After like a week or so, I got an email that said that they told telling me that the money is with the it's with the, um, the, the POS guy. I should go and collect from them. So I should leave Lagos. 
and go to Benin to go and collect 5,000 naira at 100 naira. I don't even know where that POS is again. So that money is gone, completely gone and forgotten. Right? So imagine how many persons that have this kind of issue that the banks do not even have a way to fix this. This doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Two days ago, I was in um, what was it called? I was in a go hotel. I went to eat. Right? I finished eating. I was trying to make payments. I, I said, okay, GT Bank has been failing. Let me use this Providence bank card. I transferred money from GT Bank into Providos. Use this Providos bank card and made payments for the food that I ate. He showed me transaction timed out and I was debited. Providos, yes. So it's not just GT Bank. I got debited. I had to do another transfer to the co hotel, right? And now fill the form for them to return my money. If I, till now, I have not gotten any money. I went to Providos today to go and log in that transaction, 26,700. So I had, I had to pay 26,700 two times. Now imagine if somebody goes there and you don't have extra money to pay. What is going to happen? What is going to be the issue? You come in, you want to book a room. You know, you pay for your room, right? 100,000 naira, you pay for your room. And um, you get debited and there's no value. And you don't have another 100,000 naira. What happens? Right? So the CPN, the banks, whatever it is, have to take care of this. Meanwhile, I said I need your help. Here's what I need your help to. I, I need your help with, guys. Please, please, please. Is there any bank that you know? That their ATM doesn't fail, right? It doesn't do transaction decline and you get debited where there is no value for. Do you see any bank that you know, any platform that you know that does that? Please let me know in the comment section. I want to open an account with them now, right? I want to break the, all, the, all these cards and throw them away and go with that bank. That is what I need you guys to help me with. If there's a bank that you use, and you have never had an issue where you get debited where you're trying to use the POS. As a matter of fact, right now, I've been doing transfers, only transfers. If I buy something from you, I will transfer to you and I will sit down there and wait for you to get the alert. Yesterday, I was, I was at Black Bell. I went to eat. You know, Black Bell told me that they were, they were using, um, they were using uh, a VFD bank, microfinance bank, because they get alerts almost immediately. And when I transferred to them from GT Bank, the alert came immediately. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be opening a VLD account for, for online hustle, you know, like my company account right now. After this video, I'm going to be opening that right now, you know. And I bought, I did another account, a personal account from the big banks, right? So please, if there is any bank that you use, Standard Chartered, Zenit, okay, no, not Zenit, of course, right? Zenit, I've been having a lot of issues, and I wouldn't want to go. I, have, I actually have like three Zenit bank accounts, and I don't use them anymore. You know, so not Zenit, um, Standard, Standard Chartered, um, Polaris, any of those banks, even if they're not well known, Titan Trust Bank, Globus, all those, if there's any bank that you know, right, that your ATM works, you know, and even when you get debited and you log it in, they respond to you immediately. They call you and they give you updates as it is going, how everything is proceeding. If uh, treasury is declined, they will call you and let you know that this money you are trying to claim was declined by the merchant. They will call you and not wait for you to call them before they inform you. Please let me know in the comments. I want to open an account with that bank, please. Right? Please. I will be very, very, very grateful, guys. Thank you very much. And uh, God bless you.